One school in Houston, Texas, thinks banning cell phones in school might help stop all of the fighting. Evidently, kids fight so they can record it and put it on social media. So kids at Madison High School then walked out in protest. One teacher, so frustrated with everything that she has quit, Melissa Yarborough joins us now. She was a sixth grade reading teacher until last month. Melissa, thank you for being with us. Um, I'm just top level. Is cell phones in school a right? I'm wondering why kids think that they can do this. Well, we've always had problems with fighting in school. Um, I think cell phones in school is a new issue that schools are dealing with nationwide. Uh, but the real issue of what's happening in Houston and the real reason behind the walkout was a bunch of bad policies being put into place uh, in Houston schools and the cell phones were just the tip of the iceberg. It was just the last straw. In fact, this wasn't the first school to have a walkout uh, this year. Another high school had a walkout earlier, also for the bad policies being put in place by HISD, by the school district. But it's not our regular school district right now. Um, the bigger issue and the th in Houston and also the threat to schools nationwide is a state takeover of the local school district, which is what we're experiencing right now. Right, no, I, I, I get that, um, and I understand why I, kids are angry, although the reason for the state takeover is because of how bad the schools in Houston were doing. Um, the, uh, the state uh, doesn't... One school. Yes, one school triggered a new law that was written that said if a school has a failing grade for at least uh, three years, if it has an F for three years, then the state can take over. And so one school Why is that a bad had... thing? Why is it a bad thing for a state takeover? Um, because the local citizens lose our right to vote for our own elected school board, and then we lose the right to hold them accountable. So once the state has placed a school board in place of their appointed people, not elected, um, we, the citizens, have no way to hold those electeds accountable, and they can essentially do whatever they like. I, look, I, I, this goes both ways, and I, I, I know, always know there's politics involved. But I guess my, when I think about this, in terms of the policies that are implemented, I know people, some of the students are saying, that, hey, this is like reform school. We get in trouble for everything uh, because of these new state policies. One study found the test scores increased by 6.4 percent after, after schools banned cell phones. That was doubled for low-achieving students. Uh, cell phone bans can help children with socio-emotional learning because they actually have to interact. Um, with each other. Uh, again, I, I get the, the concept of, of kids being upset. I'm just wondering how they feel they have the right to do something that I would have never done, which is walk out. Well, I think it all depends on how things are done. Um, of course, many people would agree with you that cell phones um, should have no place in school or should be picked up at the beginning of school and turned in at the end, which is what the school was trying to do. Um, what the what I think caused all of the outrage is the way that the students uh, are being treated, the way they feel they're being treated, um, their perception of the administration's response to them. Um, I noticed in my own school, and uh, part of the reason I did not want to stay there, is a sense of um, just not listening to students and said, um, doubling down, uh, shouting, administrators shouting at kids in the hallways over small things uh, because they know that they'll get in trouble from higher ups. If a student is seen, for example, walking down oh, the hallway. Hold on, hold on. I, I, for, for, forgive me though. I, I got shouted at a lot in school. Uh, and sometimes I changed you my did. behavior. Sometimes I, I, I didn't, yeah, I did. And, and I, again, I, I'm wondering why if, if a kid's doing the wrong thing and they get shouted at by an administrator, and then they protest how that is in any way a reflection of a good thing. Well, uh, I think that the how you're trying to correct a student's behavior should be um, on level with the with what they're doing, what's wrong. So if a student has uh, earbuds in walking down the hallway, um, should you be shouting at them the way that a drill a drill sergeant shouts at? Um, Why do they have your, do, 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 do respect? You're a teacher. I would think mm -hmm. that students not listening, when it's probably pretty clear the rules are no earbuds. Uh, again, at, at some level, don't kids have to be held accountable for their behavior? 
Sure. Being nice doesn't um, work. What do you do? Humane ways. It should be in humane ways that respect their humanity. Um, when you're shouted at, it doesn't make you want, it doesn't make you agree. It doesn't make you um, respect the person who's shouting at you. It may make you scared. And so you're acting from a place of fear. Um, you know, maybe you haven't studied education, uh, but those of us who have studied education and how to uh, interact with students and child psychology, educational psychology, we understand that, you know, you catch more flies with honey. So it really is okay. um, in the way that you approach well, Melissa, uh, I, I have situations. To, I, we I, we, we got to run. You make, you make a good point. I think people have different mm -hmm. views on this, but I, I, admi I will say this. I admire the fact uh, that you voted with your feet. Someone who's willing to resign and say, I'm done. Um, that says a lot. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.